Since virtually the beginning of the outbreak, scientists have known the genetic sequence of the COVID-19 virus. But over time, researchers have seen it change, giving rise to the theories that the virus might be mutating. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here tonight to put that claim to the trust index. A virus has two main objectives. It needs to infect a cell and hijack it to make copies of itself so it can infect other cells and then repeat the cycle. Now, while the newly hijacked cell is making parts to build new viruses, it's also copying the virus's genetic code, and that's where mutations can occur. The RNA genetic code for the SARS-CoV-2 virus is 30,000 base pairs long. You can think of base pairs as words in a manual to make more virus. Let's use the pages in this paperback book to represent the genetic code. Every page has about 350 words on it, so the genetic code would be about 100 pages long. Imagine transcribing 30,000 words or 100 pages of text over and over. Every so often, you would accidentally switch words, put the wrong word in, or make some typo. Well, the same happens when the 30,000 base pairs are copied. There is a proofreader protein that catches most of the typos, but some make it through and become a permanent part of the new instruction manual in newly made virus that goes on to spread. Now, all of these typos are a mutation, a lasting change in the virus. They are so common that we expect mutations to occur. Now, these mutations usually have no effect on the function of a virus. It would be like changing a word on page 47 from pen to car. It wouldn't make sense, and it would largely be ignored. But occasionally, a change or a mutation is important. For example, changing the word wasn't to was on page 53 changes the meaning of the paragraph, like changing the structure or function of a protein. That mutation could be a problem if it allows the virus to spread faster, kill more easily, or make it more difficult for us to find with the tests that we've developed. But it could also be a benefit if it damages the virus. This subtle evolution of a virus over time can allow it to find a sweet spot where it can maximally spread without being so dangerous that it kills its host before it makes a leap to the next person. So as far as the existence of mutations, I'll give this an it's true on the trust index, but it all has to be kept in perspective. Fortunately, the SARS-CoV-2 virus appears to change very slowly, and sustained mutations do not occur frequently. In fact, it's estimated that notable new changes occur at a rate of about two per month, which is actually pretty minimal. Now, the thing is, mutations do have an important role, and I'll talk about that later. Back to you. All right, we'll be looking forward to it, Doc. Thank you. And